I want you guys to hear Joe Biden as Biden signs law targeting hate crimes against Asian Americans. Now, there has never been a law against hate crimes targeting the so-called black Americans. Now, I posted this on Facebook. And I said, black Biden voters, how do you feel now? All the Black Lives Matter protesting was fruitless. You guys were laying in the street, riding elevators. You were attacking police precincts, police officers standing face to face with armed law enforcement. You were pepper sprayed and you still got no results. And the sad thing about that is you voted Biden into office. Biden and Kamala Harris, you felt that they were better than Trump. You allow the same racist media, the same racist Biden that's got a track record of racism. You ignored all of history and the facts and you still voted Biden in the office even after Biden tells you that if you don't vote for him, you ain't black. Now, I find it interesting that gays are protected, women are protected, illegal immigrants are protected, and Asians are now protected. They signed into law targeting hate crimes against Asians in this country. But there has never been a law targeting hate crimes against the so-called black Americans. Mainly because of the fact that, as I mentioned in the past, that the so-called black Americans are not citizens. Your ancestors are freed slaves. You're not citizens. You didn't come to this country like everyone else did. So why do you expect the same type of treatment and benefits as those that's the real citizens of America? But I want you to take a listen to Biden and see what he has to say about hate crimes and notice he never mentions black Americans he speak around but he never specifically mentions black Americans just listen to what Biden has to say I believe with every fiber of my being that there are simple core values and beliefs that should bring us together America as Americans one of them is standing together against hate, against racism, the ugly poison that has long haunted and plagued our nation. Today, I can say that because of all of you, many of you sitting right in front of me, you've taken that first step, this important step. All of this hate hides in plain sight. It hides in plain sight. And too often, it is met with silence silenced by the media, silenced by our politics, and silenced by our history. For centuries, Asian Americans, Native Hawaiians, Pacific Islanders, diverse and vibrant communities have helped build this nation only to be often stepped over, forgotten, or ignored. Keep in mind, everybody built this nation, but he never, not one time, mentioned black people or your slave ancestors building this nation. He never mentioned anything about black people being stepped over and being discriminated against. He never mentions that. But the, this is the man that you voted into office. And this is the man that you support and that you still protect. Although he's now in office and he kicked you under the bus. Hey, Ken, I mean, 
mean this from the bottom of my heart. Hate can be given no safe harbor in America. I mean it. No safe harbor. It can't be dismissed like, well, that's just what happens. My message is to all of those who think this doesn't matter to them or this is not a problem, look around. Look in the mirror. Look in the eyes of your children. We always look in the eyes of our children and we see the discouragement in the eyes of many of our children. Unfortunately, so many so-called black parents had to bury their children because of racism, because of discrimination, because they fit the description and their life was snuffed out by law enforcement. Not to mention the number of blacks that were hanged, that were set on fire, but yet there has never been a law targeting hate crimes against the so-called black Americans. Every one of us are lessened. Every one of us are lessened. And we're all hurt by this hate. And as a way of seeping sort of through the cracks in the communities and children who, in fact, wouldn't have crossed their mind. Words have consequences, as the senator knows. He preaches it. He understands it. Consequences. But silence is complicity. Silence is complicity. And we cannot be complicit. That was Biden. This is the person you voted as president. And now this person has turned his back on you. And we warned you, we tried to warn you before you voted for Biden, but you allow the media to brainwash you, to bewitch you into thinking that Trump was a racist. And now we have the real racist signing a law protecting Asians. Although it was a white man that attacked an Asian salon. But black people are being blamed. The media put out there that black people were the ones that were attacking Asians. Although I can show you where in China, where black people are discriminated against, even when it comes to a lot of their products and their commercials, that's racist against black people. But here in America, there's never been a law to protect the so-called black Americans from racism, from discrimination, from hatred. So feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe, click on the Cash App, support this channel. Until next time, I'm fearless.